Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you're all having a good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this video. Assault Melly dropped on Global, and it is pretty damn hype. I'm not going to lie. If you stopped by my uh, stream, you already know what happened. We got absolutely cucked on this banner. It was so, so bad, but we did actually manage to pull assault melee from the guaranteed we didn't really pull that much heat a lot of dupes we sixed out of six a lot so um yeah but that's not what we're here to talk about we're here to talk about the banner itself now they decided to go ahead and actually modify the banner from its jp counterpart now i really don't think there was a reason to do this like just being honest i don't really think there was a reason to do that but they did it anyway. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, they actually went ahead and changed the unit on uh, some of the units on the banner. Now, um, a majority of the units are the same. They really only changed three. So what they did was they took out the new legends units, right? So instead of the new legends units, we have um, Red Estorosa, Green Fraudrin, and then we have Blue Malascula. They, I don't know why they did this, but they did. So do i think that this banner like lost its value i don't know i actually don't know i'm still on the fence about it i think it's more or less the same actually the only thing is i know legend the new legends units are event exclusive so having on having them on this banner was very very good for you know players who don't have them who might have started after they came out who might have started um you know like two weeks ago or something like that i really don't think that that change was necessary but they decided to do it anyway now um i, I mean i i guess you could say it's it's good still since you know this is like a demon oriented banner right except for obviously the, the three archangels that's on the banner but they went ahead and you know did this for i believe you know assault melee so that way people have units in case they don't have some of these demons but it, it's still it's still odd to me like it's still it's still an oddity that they did that now i think they could have honestly if they were gonna make changes they could have did like red Melascula instead of esterosa because the thing with this is these three units that they decided to put on a banner instead of the event exclusives are actually on you know part two tickets so it's not like you don't see them often plus they're always on banners so i mean again it's not like you don't see these units often we actually see them more like a lot more than you think so people probably already have you know if you're smart dupes invested into these characters but I mean, again, I guess if you are new slash returning player, you might not have many copies or you might not have them. So it could be good in that sense. I just personally think that they could have went ahead and kept the event units. If anything, they should have changed um, Bellian and Alette right here. They should have changed these two, if anything, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. They could have easily made Alette Red Malascula and they could have made Blue Bellian. They could have made him blue gallon and they could have kept the event units the same that would have been way way better in my personal opinion it would have actually increased the value of the banner since you know red malaskala is a like not a necessity but she is a pretty big um you know team option for assault melee um i just think it would have been better the fact that they have blue malaskala on here instead of red malaskala still rubs me the wrong way i still think that that was kind of that decision right there was kind of like, like, you know, 10 IQ move right there, Net Marble. You could have easily just made Red Malaskula uh, in place of, you know, the Red New Year's Elizabeth, right? Because they, what they did was they just put the units color. You see how it's like co the color wheel? They literally just replaced the event units with demon units of their colors. So they could have easily made Red Malaskula in place of, you know, New Year's Elizabeth um green obviously green fraudrin would have been green fraudrin would have been in place of green demon meliotis but then they could have just put blue gallon instead of blue jericho and it could have just been better like that or again they could have just took belly and Alette out of here and placed them with um red melascula and blue gallon and kept the event units the same now again i don't know if it lost its value because of that and all honestly guys i'm gonna be honest with you 
Um, sorry, I, I still have my alert bots on for some reason. That uh, <laughs> I don't know why that did that there. It, it's coming again. Let me just let me just yeah turn turn that off. But um yeah, I don't know why they decided to do that. It, it's kind of just it's kind of strange, but still, it is what it is. I just personally again I personally believe that they could have went ahead and kept the event units on there now a lot of people who are summoned on this banner that i've seen like they actually pulled a lot of copies of like red esterosa they pulled a lot of copies of like um you know draw i believe i didn't pull any Zel yeah i didn't pull any zeldris i didn't pull um i think actually zeldris was the only one no i didn't pull any melasculus right um, I six out of six a lot, as you guys already know if you watch the stream. <laughs> um, I pulled one Bellion, didn't pull any Tarmios. So yeah, I, I didn't really pull that much heat, guys. Like seriously, they really could have just made the event units stay on there. But I don't know what Netmarble was thinking when they did that. Do I still think it's the best festival banner? Hmm. I think, honestly, it might be tied with Eskinor's right now. I know before I was saying, like, yeah, it's definitely, you know, the best festival banner yet. I think, honestly, it might just be tied with Eskinor's right now. I, I really do, because Eskinor's banner had all of the festival units on it, right? Which was very, very good and valuable for um, every player to get dupes of, you know, Lost Vein, Goddess Elizabeth, uh, The One, etc., etc. But my main thing that uh was you know kind of in competition with it was the fact that assault melee's banner had the event units on like on there but now that they they're they're gone <laughs> i honestly don't know i honestly don't know i think it is right like tied or neck and neck with eskinor's now if you say eskinor's better is better than uh what if eskinor's banner is better than this one right now i honestly probably wouldn't even argue with that like if you give me reasons i probably wouldn't argue with that my only argument would be like my only clapback would be that it has all of the coin shop commandments on there which is always valuable to have coin shop units no matter what it is always valuable to have coin shop units on a summonable banner that way if you summon them on the banner you won't have to waste your platinum coins for example i didn't have gloxinia I summoned Gloxinia on the banner, which was very nice because I didn't need to spend a platinum coin or 10 platinum coins or seven platinum coins to get him, right? I just got him by using the gems and whatever to summon on a very good banner, right? It is still a very good banner, by the way. I'm not saying it's, I'm not trying to, you know, devalue it or try and make it more hype than it is because in all honesty, the fact that they did change them kind of just sucks. It was a sus move on Netmarble's part. Again, Netmarble, if you're listening in the future, try and like appeal to your you know your player base we would have much rather had red melascula than red esterosa um blue gallon in turn like instead of blue melascula i think i think honestly it just wasn't you guys just weren't you know you are i don't want to say you, they weren't thinking when they made this but i i don't know if they were taking into consideration assault melee's most you know used team composition because they do have blue droll which is very good they have red zelders which is very good but again if they would have put red molasco on there i would have said Shh, yeah this banner's this banner's perfect for uh assault melee right it's literally perfect because you have all of the units that you really want to run with him on one banner like it, it really is good but um, in terms of just the value of it, I still think it has a very good value. If you're gonna skip, I would say, all right, sure, skip. I don't, I don't agree if you if you skip because you know they decided to take off the event units. I don't agree with that. The event units aren't even that great. I was more so saying that having them on a banner is good because again, exclusive event, exclusive characters on a banner is always good to have as well. Um they help with demon raids but they're not you know top tier characters by any means but if you're gonna skip because you just want to skip or you don't find the banner appealing at all that's completely fine you know i'm not saying like oh my god like this is the most you know so you have to summon on this banner but you definitely should put about 300 gems into it i would say at the very least definitely should put 300 gems into it um coin shop commandment units on here you have the archangels the archangels is what really brings up the value though like it's what really makes this banner what it is the archangels so yeah 
300 gems at the very least, man. I, I think so. I think that'd be good. But um, that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to inform you guys if you didn't know, which you probably did. But I just wanted to let you guys know my thoughts and opinions on the changes that they made to Assault Melee's banner. And if you have your own opinions, let me know down in the comments below. Um, Leave a like if you did enjoy the video. Subscribe if you're not already. But yeah, guys, as always, I will see you all next time.